Solomon, I think it was. Okay. The Catholic Church is an ancient, worldwide organization dedicated to the constant goal of fucking young boys. Really? Sure. Wow. I thought everybody knew that. Well, I, I thought that the, that the point of the church was to worship God, and the boy fucking was just incidental. No, it's just the other way around. The point of the church is the boy fucking. All the other stuff is just busy work. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you stick your dick up their ass. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, as an organization, why do you need a whole church just to do that? Oh, you see, you can't just go around fucking boys in the street. People get mad. So what we do is we build churches around the world and tell people they got to come there to pray, give us their money, or they'll go straight to hell. Now that gives us the authority and the gravitas to control their lives, most importantly, to give us their young boys. So we can educate them, feed them, and ultimately fuck them in the ass and face. And it's tax deductible. I was very surprised to find out that the Catholic Church exists solely for the purpose of boy rape. But as I did some research, I found out that it's true. I contacted the Vatican for verification, and I received this written statement from the Pope himself. We at the Catholic Church fuck boys all day long. That's all we ever do. Signed, the Pope. I learned that the Catholic Church is funded by a simple grassroots system. People come to the church, they give money, and that money is collected all over the world to finance the Catholic Legal Defense Fund and to buy millions of cans of Crisco. Father McCready showed me how the Catholic Church is constantly refining their boy fuck techniques. So, well, but so what are all these people doing? Well, this is the situation room. This is where we keep track of all the molesting priests around the world and move them from place to place so they won't get caught. Father Gigan, you are clear to ask rape a male child in sector 649er. Good day. Is there a reason why you do this? Purity. Purity? Yeah. You see, the boys come to us and they are pure. We fuck the boys and take the purity into ourselves. And the next time we defecate, we create what's called a purity brick. So are, are there any boys that you guys have not fucked? Were you raised Catholic? Yes. And were you fucked by a priest when you were a boy? No, I don't think so. Wait. No, I was. Yeah, I guess I was. Huh. We're very thorough. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. Let me ask let me ask you one more question. Shoot. Is it wrong to fuck boys? Of course not. If it was wrong, now don't you think God would put a stop to it? Hmm. Yes, it's sex, nasty, you know, I don't even know if you can call it sex. Everything, I mean, from just, you know, touching to fruit, squash, you know, huge squash, you know, that big around, you know, stuck into you, into your ass, you know. Uh, heat, heat things, hot things, you know, poked at you and stuck in you. And Larry King was the same kind of sick fuck Alan Bear was, except Larry King was more violent, uh, more sure of himself, you know, 
I got those scars on my arm one night at a party where Larry King, you know, wanted to see how strong a man we were or something, you know, and have us push our arms together. And you'd light cigarettes, and as soon as you get burning, you'd just drop them down between your arms and, you know, let it, let it burn. You know, and they made us stand there naked and touch each other by holding our arms together and burn cigarettes for you. You know, it's on film someplace. And then they filmed it, burning, you know. I mean, I would, you know, see him fuck a 10-year-old boy in the ass, you know, until he bled and, you know, just pull out and stop and, you know, push him down, you know, and, you know, and then go out and, you know, meet with decent people.